book called Nation No No Color Line by Jane Rock, right? This Negroes in coast of arm, noble family, German families with Negro, with Negro names in, hold on. German families with names of Negro origin. So we ruled Germany. We ruled Europe for a thousand years. But that's the history that they keep hid because they want to keep us impressed of who we are as a people. What's this book? What's that? Nature knows no color line. Which one's that in? By Jay Rogers. Yeah, so. Is that you mean exactly? This uh, Germany. No, nah, man. Yeah. See, what is it saying? Germany and Port Portugal. Coast of Wow. So we were ruling, man, once upon a time, man. See that? Negro, Negro coats of arms, man. So these are records. This nature know no color line by Jay Rogers. Let's see, let's see if I can find some more. You guys are Christian group or? Well, uh, this uh, nature know no, I mean, uh, Negro and coats of arms, noble family in Central Europe. So, you see? We tried. You ain't a part of that, man. What? No, I ain't say retired. Uh, say we're dealing with one person at a time. You ask him when he's done. Of Israel, because the Lord is coming for the elect, man. Because not all our people gonna turn back. They went away. They gonna continue to do uh, things and kiss the heavenly Father's son out. They gonna die. The way to Babylon. Yeah, the way to Babylon. Yeah, yeah. Acts 11 and 26. And when he, he said, that's so weird. That was weird. Acts 11 and 26. When he had found him, he brought him into Antioch. And it came to pass that the whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. And the disciples were called. Hey, Christians. listen, 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 listen. Listen, you ask us about Christians? Listen. It says, and taught much of the people. And the disciples were called Christians first from the Antioch. So the disciples were called Christians first. And who were part of the disciples? The children of Israel. So if you're not of the children of Israel, you can't be no Christian. That's what, what they teach in this society, what they teach in this society in America, is love everybody. The Bible don't love everybody. The Heavenly Father and His Son don't love everybody. He coming back to destroy America. This ain't nothing but confusion to uphold homosexuality and sodomite everywhere. You see? Weird. It's real. It's the truth. It's reality. So, That's the reality of America. This is Babel. And I mean, this is Babylon. Babel in the Hebrew for confusion. These people in a confused state. They don't know if they're coming or going. <laughs> and they drinking fluoride and water. Now, they, you can't, they can't even tell you what they had on last week. Their minds are gone. <laughs> okay. What's the last commercials y'all seen? <laughs> tell me the last commercial. Tell me, tell me, tell me what empire lasted forever. What empire lasted? Yeah, what, what ruling empire lasted forever? The Aztec Empire. What are you? <laughs> They're still there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, bro, I'm still there. Hey, who are the Aztecs today? Shuffle at this man. Yeah. Who are the Aztecs today? Damn. Uh, his name is Jose. He lives. Uh, what, what, which one? Yeah. Who? Who? Name them. Just give me a, what, they, what do they call today? The Aztecs. Yeah. They yeah. say they were not even what do they call today? The Mexicans. Yeah, the Mexicans. And, and Mexican, Mexican, the, 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 the Spaniards changed, changed that uh, name, okay? When you look it up in the etymology, the word Mexican goes back to Chicano, which means boy. So the Spaniards didn't understand the language that the natives were speaking because the Mexicans are Israelites. When you look up the, when you go into the history of the word Mexican, the word Mexican means is uh they were saying it uh, uh like they they were it was, it's a uh, ma, mashika, mashika. So they heard it, so the Spaniards heard it and didn't understand it, okay? Cause they were speaking Hebrew. What they were saying was, what the Mexicans were saying was, was mashia, which means anointed, anointed. okay? Anointed. So they were speaking Hebrew. <laughs> Read what you got out of This is uh, Psalms 147 and 18. Listen. He showed this word to Jacob. Oh, he showed this word unto Jacob. 
Go ahead. Who would take the Negro Latinos and Native Americans? Take me to school. His statues and his judgments unto Israel. Yeah, his statues and his judgments unto Israel. And them so-called Jews, not the real Jews. The real Jews, you're looking at one of them. This brother native, this brother native, and that brother uh, uh, Jew right there. He's from the tribe of Judah, and I'm from the tribe of Judah, and this brother from the tribe of Gad. Right I'm there. not a Negro. <laughs> we ain't no Negroes. <laughs> go ahead. And, Nick, and, and, Nick, and Negro, go back to the word uh, Niger, which is Latin, which black. means black. And black means void of light. So we got to understand that we got the light right We're here. Illuminated, we illuminated. Right? And we're breaking down the scripture. Read, right? He said he showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments to Israel. His God. statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He God. gave his statutes and his laws and commandments unto Israel. Go ahead. He says he have not dealt so with any nation. He has not dealt so with any nation. Mm. So the rest of these nations outside of mm. the Negro Latinos and Native Americans, the Heavenly Father, them, what y'all doing? Y'all just y'all just got to go in slavery, because that's what's going to happen. We're showing the Revelation 13, 9, and 10. This table so of nations. It says, he have not dealt so with any time. nation, and as far as his judgments, they have not known You them. don't know him. You don't know him. Give me Revelation 13, 9, and 10. Revelation 13, 9, and 10. Because the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans all went into slavery up under the so-called white man. It's for it. you to understand when you go into history. They're like, they're like, uh, have y'all ever heard of uh, uh, Black Wall Street in Tulsa, Oklahoma? Around the 1920s, uh, so-called white man went to war and came back and seen how the Negro was winning and was rich in Oklahoma. What he did was uh, declare a martial law and bomb and cut off the bones in the, in the, uh, to where the, the, they couldn't talk to nobody outside of that city. And what he did was put, drop nitrogen, nitrogen and dynamite on uh, Black Wall Street in Oklahoma. And what the white folks did was, when the, the city that they had built up before they burnt it down and dropped bombs on them, they went up in their houses and got all the stuff because the majority of them people that went over the war and came back, that was impoverished and the black folks were winning. They were rich. And what they did was went up in there, burnt their houses down, and stole all the stuff that they had in there. <laughs> in the 1920s in Black Wall Street. Revelation 13, 9 and 10. It says, if any man have an ear, let him hear. Hey, you got mm. ears on your head, don't you? Mm. Go ahead. This is that oh, this is that script. He that leadeth into captivity. What is this? How we get over here? What is this? How we get over here? Go into captivity. He that leadeth into captivity. One more time, I don't think it says, right. he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. That's in the Bible. What kind in of Bible, Bible is that? that? What is that? What kind of so Bible is that? So where y'all going? It says here, slave patience, slave in the faith of the saints. Right. Give me Obadiah 18. We're all doomed to die, die by the sword. No, you're doomed to go into slavery. Well, you're the sword. Well, you're gonna die by the sword because guess what? Little do you know. That the so-called white men, we call them white, so-called white, because that's not really correct. That's why we call them so-called white. Nobody's white. Like her hat is white. You see? You ain't white. My t-shirt is white. What it is is your pigment, your pigment, you're red. red. You're red. Your pigment shows forth through your skin. So therefore, you are red. That's if you you're see? not an Israelite. That's if you're not an Israelite. You gotta trace your family line back. Right. Uh, well, you belong and, if, and if somebody smacks you guys in the face, if I come up and slap you. Which he's not going to do. No, I'm not gonna assault you. <laughs> Don't call him blonde. But if I smack you, what face? If you blush, what happens to your skin? Turn the other cheek. No, man. What happens? <laughs> What do you say? Cackling. <laughs> what, what happens, let, since you cackling, what happens whenever somebody blushes? Or makes you laugh. You or, turn yeah, or somebody slaps you on a cold day. What happens to your skin color? Turn red. But, hey, but no, I ain't pink. No, Come pink, on now. Right. Pink, right. That's a derivative I mean, of red. That's a derivative of red. That's a derivative of red. Yeah, that's a derivative of red. Okay, that's whatever. That's that's whatever. That's that's whatever. That's but you know you yeah. turn red, though. That's but the lightest shade. That's the lightest shade of red. Yeah, that yeah. is. Why do you is. think they call, uh, uh, especially down south in, uh, in Arkansas, why do you think the so-called white man still call himself redneck? Mm. Who do you think call him that? Mm. The natives. <laughs> He embracing, he embracing what the natives call him, which he, which he don't know is in the spirit that he embracing that he's really red. When girls spot, they say, "Long go pants." That's what I they read say that, man. They say that. Obadiah. Hey, hey, I got another question. Why? What does the word Caucasian mean? Anybody? Take a wild guess. That this guy's very smart. Let's see. Who is? Who you say? This dude. 
Come on, man. Let's see. I just received my bachelor's degree. And I'm working on my Hold master's. on. Listen, listen. Let him, let him, don't, don't do that. Oh, I'm saying I that's a good dude. Me. She back. Yeah, we good. All right, yeah, listen, yeah, yeah, listen, yeah, don't be listen, scared. Listen. Go, let's We're in public. He has a, he has a right. Uh, Caucasian means white. Huh? Means white people. It means white no. people. Der no! Derivative. <laughs> derivative. Wrong! Of Middle Eastern. Wrong! Dang it. Uh, okay, no, it's it's got Asian in it, right? Bro, <laughs> man, you say you have, how many? No years chicken you dinner for you. Hey, right, how many years did you go to school? Well, counting what? All of it. All twelve. You went to college? Yeah. Oh, you mad right now? They ain't teach you nothing. They ain't teach you who you was. You spent all that money in debt for nothing. Get my money back. You need to go cuss them out. Yeah. They say, look, you need a refund. I want to talk to the, I want to talk to the Rothschilds. I want to talk to the Rothschilds. That's what you need to go in there and say. <laughs> Give me the number to the Rothschilds. Because they owe me. I have no reason to be in here learning this madness. I'm not, I'm not paying none Caucasian, of my debts. A man by the name of Johan and Blumenbach that was dealing with, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, I can't, I can't escape my thoughts. But a man named Johanna G. Blumenbach uh, uh, put the coin jaw uh, Caucasian because the, the word Caucasian go back to the Caucasian mountain, mm. cave dwellers. Tell them, I. You see? So that's what the word Caucasian means, cave dwellers. So these so called white people well, they embracing they Caucasian the and, they, and it really means cave dwellers. Why you think they like climbing rocks? Who do that? <laughs> Who we don't? <laughs> We it's in their spirit because they was in the mountain for a thousand feel, years. Why we were going really to Because I do have the like, records. I have like a harness and rock climbing shoes. All right. <laughs> the, the, record, the records. Oh, man, right I got rock shoes right, right now. For a thousand years. And they tell you in Revelation chapter 20 that we were ruling for a thousand years. But read what you got, huh? This is uh, Obadiah uh, verse. This is Obadiah. Verse, uh, and then from there, give me Joel 30. I don't run, man. You all right? Verse two. You okay? Don't Behold, run, I man. I made me smile among the heathen. No. 18. Oh, okay. So 18. I was gonna read about the king, bro. So. Now nah, we gonna go to Joel 30. Okay. This is uh, I opened that 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. In the house of Joseph, a flame. Uh -huh. The house of Jacob in the house of Joseph. Real quick, that boat, that's talking about the nation of Israel, shall be a flame. Okay? Mm. Now we have and it says, basically a fire. Go ahead. It says, in the house, there, of right the, the, the house of Esau, the house of Esau is the so called white man. That's his lineage. Esau is the father of you so called white people. You go from Abraham, Isaac, to Esau, and you are a nation of Edomites. So, go ahead. And it says, the house of Esau we come, we Jacob, and they shall kindle in them and devour them. Yeah. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken. So the whole house of Esau is going to be wiped out as a nation of people. So-called white people are going to be wiped out as a nation of people. So Terminated. This is, this is, the, this is the, the so-called white people empire right now. You're in it. You're living it up right now. But the thing about it is, you're falling. Quick, fast, and a hurry. It's happening right before your eyes. It's happening, baby. It's happening, baby. Right before your eyes. It's falling. Look at the economy. Look at the job. Look at the bridges, Art. Right? Look at the EPD. Look, Look at the bridges, Art. Right? Look at the roads, Art. Right? The corrosion is spread up under America. The worm is deep in here, man. Look how they, look how they, look how they, uh. Look, 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 look at my man. He knows. Look at the spirit. It's not going to go back down. Hey, and then, and then they, they, when you went to college, did they teach you what real money is? Are you talking, what, are you guys talking about like doomsday and stuff? What? Huh? Are you worried about like the world ending? Hey, the world's never going to end. Your world is ending. He's telling you your world. Hey, come here, come here, come here. Did you learn what do you know what real money is? Obviously not. I don't know. You know what real money is? Answer him. You know it. Money is the supply and demand. Hey man, go get your Y'all you know what y'all money is. You waste your time and call. Hey, real money, the meaning of money is being being one more. Getting one more. If you didn't have no paper money, what substance would you want more than anything? That would calculate to be money. What you got? Pieces. 
<laughs> eat them! Eat them! <laughs> hey guys, I gotta go. Oh, hold on, we gotta read that money. This is what money is. Oh, yeah, this is 13. Thank you. 13 is really too. I really appreciate it. Abraham was very rich. The wicked flee. I didn't know about that Caucasian and gold. Yeah, Thank that's you guys. Money. So. Substance, substance, cattle, and gold. And then, and then, you can look up uh, uh, HJR, the House Joint Resolution mm. 192, uh, 1933 to where they took the gold standard out of the Federal, uh, the Federal Reserve and the money is no more backed by gold. So the American people do not own nothing. Yeah. You debt, you in <laughs> a debt crisis. That's you why know, that's why the, the, the value of the dollar is shrinking rapidly. That's why when you go in the store, you buy two items, you spend $20. If you go to organic, you didn't lost your mind. You just spent three Don't even go there. Three items. Don't even go there. <laughs> don't even go there. I break the law. I did America so wild, man. They don't import. They don't. I mean, they don't, they don't export, export nothing. nothing. You need to watch the movie Atlas Shrugged. They stripping this place to bits. <laughs> <laughs> you need to watch the movie Atlas Shrugged yeah, and, and, and Atlas Atlas Shrugged too, because they telling you in the movies they symbolic. The movies are subliminal messages. The way they stripping America. <laughs> Watch the movie Atlas Shrugged, one and two.